What's up, everybody? Frogus here with another episode of Magic Duels. We're going to do the exact same thing that we just did uh, the previous day, as far as you're aware. And we're going to get in there, and we're going we're gonna to see... We're testing the value. That is an awesome avatar. I love it. He has a little bit of a hairline problem, but that's okay. It's new, and I love him. Vlad. Oh, man. All right, so we're up against a vampire. We're doing the testing of... That's unkeepable. Just flat out unkeepable. This is probably keepable. Uh, I put in uh, two Planeswalkers. Chandra and Jace. And I have File Aggregate. And I have that uh, three mana, draw two cards, discard one, unless you control an artifact card. I don't remember what it's called, but that's what I have. That is what I'm playing. That is what we're doing. Oh, yeah. And, of course, I have Thing in the Ice. Which, <laughs> by the way, I have a one of of Thing in the Ice... That is in there pretty much as a joke. I don't know if it's that good. I got rid of two lands for it, so instead of running 24, we are now on 22. I think that's okay. I'm gonna give it a shot, don't know. I wanna see how people deal with Thing in the Ice. It's, you can only run a maximum of two. I have a maximum of one. And I just wanna see what they can do with it. Like, I'm not sure. It looks like a freaking fantastic card, just in case you don't know what the hell it does. It, uh, it comes into play with four counters on it. Every every turn, you take off a counter. When it's all gone, you get a 7-8 in play. Because bada-bing, bada-boom, fuck you. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much what it comes down as. Uh, we have a Druid in play, which I could kill because it is ramp, technically speaking. Uh, I actually kind of want to get rid of it because I don't want him to ramp. At the same time, hmm, File Aggregate isn't that great in this situation. I don't have a one drop or anything, so I think I'm just gonna drop, hmm. Actually, I'm gonna drop, I can't drop Chandra. It's either gonna be Vile Aggregate, it's gonna be Vile Aggregate, screw the world. It's gonna be Vile Aggregate. Because then the Thopter Engineer comes in, makes it a 2-5 um, a with Trample, which works for me fine, whatever. Hopefully I get another land. I got both of my freaking Planeswalkers in hand, which is kind of... Uh, it's not really awkward, it's just I don't really want them there. I feel like the Planeswalkers are probably the things that are most likely going to get cut. I think. I think. Definitely feeling the... Thopter lady, haste Thopter creature thing. Otherwise, it probably would have been Spy Network. Nah, it's not going to be Spy Network. But I can crash in for three. That feels good. Not sure what he can do. He has four mana open. Five mana open, actually. And they haven't really done anything. Five cards in hand. Definitely got plenty of stuff. Absolutely ingesting his garbage. Not really worried about the ingest. It doesn't really do anything too much for me. So we're just going to see what this guy's up to. Obviously, it has been playing Gruul. That's not too, too scary. I could I could disperse that whenever. Uh, this seems wonderful. And then I can get in for two if I wanted to. Otherwise, I could just get the Chandra going. Do I just say screw the world and get the Chandra going? Or do I slam this guy down and get in for two? This is just artifacts, right? Artifact creatures, right? Hmm. Let's get it. Let's start setting up because I'm okay for now. He's got a lot of land, but I'm not, like, terribly worried about it. Uh, definitely not swinging in with a 2-5 because that would be silly because he's got a 5-5. Five five. I can get hit with that a couple of times. I'm not too, too worried. He is getting counters, but that's fine, too. I could have kept the Disperse open. Much more likely to do that if I had two lands open. Or if I had uh, four lands rather than uh, just the three. Because the three pretty much means I have one, one land to play. Maybe... I'm not, like, opposed to dumping the Planeswalkers and putting in a couple more lands. I'm not, like, the biggest fan of those Planeswalkers. That's kind of a problem. That's actually kind of a problem. Omnom is a real bitch. I only have—I can only deal with him 
I can barely deal with him. <laughs> I can just barely deal with him. 7-7 seven, seven, Trample. Not... Why isn't this losing? Because I'm not casting instances or sorceries. Because I don't know how to read. <laughs> yeah, well, I don't have enough anyway. It doesn't really matter. I uh, don't have anything. I need more lands. I really, really do. And I need more lands than Planeswalkers. That's good. Okay. Okay. Good. Let's see now. Let's think about this. We could bump the Omneth. Bump the Omneth, uh, Twin Bolt, the Druid in his face, get in for two, three, four, five, six, seven total. Then he'll just replay the Omneth, swing back in for seven. Ugh. This is so awkward. Actually, I can get in for eight because I just tapped the Chandra. She'll get to untap now. So maybe that is the play. All right, uh, I want to give it a shot. It's so awkward to do this. I don't know if this is really the right way to do it. Thing in the Ice probably does not belong in this deck. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of weird. And I definitely played Chandra completely wrong. I should have. Uh, I should have attacked with her and then bumped her. It's three three damage, right? Yeah, I totally fucked that up. Oops. Oh well. I could I could have had a fucking planeswalker on in, on the board right now, and I'm just an idiot. Ugh, it's so awkward to see. But they are down quite a bit, which is kind of nice to see. Also, uh, I got them kind of hard in the air, almost. I need nah. I don't. I really don't. And this is renewal instead of the Omneth. Okay. To make a really fat creature. So it looks like my thing in the ice is stopping this, otherwise I'm dead. So there we go. Definitely, definitely made misplays in this game. Absolutely. Uh, I totally fucked up. Like, there are some things that shouldn't be here, and I'm playing them anyway. I felt like thing in the ice wasn't too bad. Th did I just save myself, <laughs> like, for no reason at all? <laughs> okay, let's see. Winging all in. Might as well. I can play a Jace, which is kind of nice. Of course, he could just... No, he can't sacrifice. Alright, I'm thinking like he could play Omnath or something. And then... Uh, and then maybe... Sack one of the things to hit me for five. Or to hit me for three, actually, because the only Lightning Bolt... Uh, I'm just gonna wait till his attack phase. All right, just bounce it back to your hand, bro. Unless he can counter it, which f would be impressive with just green and red. Not sure what he can do about this. Fiery impulse, one of my creatures. Which one? Jace. Okay. Oh yeah, though that would make sense because then I would, uh, I'd be able to uh, keep bouncing his garbage. But isn't he dead anyway? No, because he has a 5-5 five five in play. So I need... I need quite a few things. None of this is what I need. <laughs> None of this at all. What's the best play I have here? Not much, man. Not much. I think... Drop that. Uh, keep my 1-3 Haster back. Well, actually, no. Screw that. I'll just do this, obviously. Ping him for one. Get a card. See what that card is. Hopefully it's a red one. That's nice. That is nice. How come it skipped my second main? I was able to actually use Chandra and play this second main if I wanted to. Like, I didn't want to, but that's kind of bullshit. Let's see what he gets rid of. Obviously my Chandra, I think, because that potentially beats his ass. Or actually, you know what? He should get rid of my other two, and then I have to block with my Chandra. Um, I think that's a fuck-up. I think you have done guffled. I think you've done guffled. 
I don't think that's the right thing to do, but whatever. Uh, hang on, I gotta... I gotta read this. <laughs> okay, okay. Whenever this thing or another guy you control dies, kill it. So I could kill this now. If I was crazy. And I am. So fuck it. I will do it. He's gonna shoot another... Three damage my way. And I don't care. That's fine. Because I, I probably lost this already. Probably. Oh no, he's actually killing my creature. Okay. I don't know. Well. Eh. Eh. Yeah, I guess. So then a twin bull comes down and beats my ass. That makes sense. Might as well play this. Hell, I'll even put it down on something. And why did it skip my attack? I can it skip the rest of my main phase. What the hell? I can play... Oh, no, I can't. I can't. I'm totally tapped out. Because it costs two, not one. I'm, I am misreading things like crazy. Uh, Actually, I mean, I, all right. I sack a couple lands. Throw... I guess my lord in front. No, man, I'm, I'm... Is there any way out of this? How do I do an additional five damage to this guy? Oh, yeah, this is... This is, this is over. All right, man, you got me, you got me. Yeah, there, there's literally nothing I could get to uh, to pick me out. All right, uh, I had my fun. That was fun, but that was dumb, so we're not going to continue doing that. <laughs> Sting in the ice does not belong there. Jace might belong there. I don't know. Chandra probably belongs there, but really, I kind of want another Artificer's Epiphany. Um, or do I want more lands? I kind of like the lands. Let, let's see, hang on. So we've got... Let's see the gold lands. Where is the other one? The one that comes down untapped if you have... I mean, I know it's like right in front of my face. I just can't see it because I'm a dingus. It's not there. All right. Oh, do they not have it? The one that, uh, yeah, if I have two or more basics, it comes down on tap. Do they not have the red and blue for that? Red, black, red, green. Red, green, red, white, red, black. So, no, they don't. Okay. Okay. Well, fuck me then. <laughs> All right. Well, whatever. We don't have it. I guess the other option would be um, Evolving Wild, maybe. I mean, that's not the worst card I could grab. I've never actually had land problems here. I've ha I've been low on my on my other color. Like I've been I've had lots of blue, and then I've only had like one or two red occasionally. But I've never actually been like actually mana fucked or color screwed so maybe i don't have to worry about that uh just on the off chance that this takes too long i'll pause right here never mind because we're just waiting for some dingus and this is the dingus another new avatar thank god we got uh, vanilla ice coming in ready to kick my ass with his baby blues i love it bro ramga mm. that's how i like him that's how I like him. Still nobody beating uh, my Chris Pratt. Not... I mean, I've kept lands like our hands like this before. But 3-3 uh, three, three drops... Really awkward. I like this so much more, it's not even funny. I like this actually more. I don't know why I like this more. It's probably because Chief of the Foundry into both of these and I have three lands instead of just two. Okay, looks like we're black vampires, or up against black vampires. Just double checking that this guy's only lifelink. Nope. Lifelink, sack a creech, and then, wow! Put a 1 1 counter on each vampire you control. That is insane! Wow! Okay. Um, you know what? I'm gonna do this now. Uh,. It, I don't have to. I, yeah, actually, wait. No, now that I think about it, I didn't have to. For some reason in my head, I thought, like, what if he puts down two lands and then he can sacrifice 
something for free for itself. Like that's just dumb. I could have I, I could have waited. I could have taken out a couple of these vampires. My bad. My stupids. Whatever. Okay, but at least I can swing in for uh, one now. Get in there. And this is the dude that recurs. Whenever a creature I control dies, put a 1-1 one, one counter on this guy. He does not recur at all. I was thinking he's somebody else. All right, so we're definitely up against Rakdos Vampires, which seems super cool so far. I already like pretty much everything I've seen. Seriously. Very nice. Too bad it's super vulnerable to Twin Bolt. Because Twin Bolt, like, if I had played that correctly, would have wrecked his day so bad. I don't see... So let's see, I can get in for one extra damage if I jump that. I'll get in for two extra damage if I dump that. There's... I might as well be more mana efficient and just get them all in there. Uh, if I swung in with my 1-3, do you think he'd double block? Do you think he'd double block? I'm okay if he double blocks. I'm okay. Because I don't really have anything in my hand that really needs haste. I don't like swinging in with my uh, Chief of the Foundry anyway. So, a double block, I'm okay with. And if he wants to charge in for three, that's also okay. Hmm. If he swings in with a 1-1, one, one, I probably won't block that. Because, yeah, ooh. But he's doing that before attacks? You should... Mm, no, I don't know about that. Yeah, yeah, hang on, dude. Hang on to that. Swing in for... Yeah, because now I know that it's coming. See? Fiery Impulse instead. Well, that's significantly better. Now then, how come he didn't just charge in with his 2-2 two -two as well, then? Like, what's he going to block? Eh, uh, uh, I think that was silly. I think that was silly. And now he's going to pop my 1-3? Okay. Okay. Okay, that's fine. Uh, super cute. Unfortunately, I have a Disperse, which, you know, as usual, Disperse just wrecks people's day. And I don't care if he has a 3-3, because I'm going to have three 2-2s two and a Disperse open. So, he's in trouble. <laughs> and, and he's gone, so I'm just going to leave the game, because he got completely obliterated. Yeah, he was actually more obliterated than he knew, because I had the Disperse in hand, so all that extra work... I don't think the Bone Splitter... God damn, her face! Mmm! Man, talk about arousal. Ugh, oh, it's love at first sight, man. Um, yes, I... Thank you. All right. God, don't advertise to me. Jesus Christ. I already bought the fucking game. Like, what the hell are you rubbing this in my face for? I don't think the Bone Splitters was that great because he, he lost a 2-1 lifelink just for an extra counter. Um, and he was kind of low on creatures at that point. I think the lifelink would have been better for him because it, it effectively counters um, one of my one of my thopters because they're going to be two twos because of the lord. So I don't know. This is unkeepable. Hate one land hands. Uh, this is okay. I'm not on the play, but that's still okay. Uh, I have. Well, yeah. I, 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 I was gonna say I have a fiery impulse to take out his one drop, but that's not a one drop that I'm gonna be taking out. I do like that vampire deck that he had. Uh, I'm just not really a fan of how it played out. Um, it's really vulnerable to light removal. Like, very, very light removal. At least from what I saw, the vampires were incredibly frail. A little bit of life gain really doesn't matter too much to me. Uh, that's not a big... That is absolutely not a concern to me in any way. Um, do I do I start the charge with Chandra over Thopter Engineer? That is a question. Let's see what he plays. Because Thopter Engineer into Chief of the Foundry gets me a little bit of a nice board. Gives me a 2-2 in the air. Can't stop it. Chandra probably isn't getting in anytime soon, except with her ability, so she's mostly going to be pinging for one. So, I actually think Thopter Engineer is a little better, plus it, it, it's a little bit faster. He doesn't he hasn't played anything. He's got three mana open. Of course, we are in the low rank, so that doesn't entirely mean anything, but uh, you never know. You never know. Alright, that's not going to stop anything. 
That's just gonna, that, I mean, you could. That's fine. Alright. I am okay with that. Next up, I'd probably drop Chief of the Foundry. Especially if I get a land. If I get a land, Chief of the Foundry, absolutely. Uh, the pro- Oh, uh, God. I do have two fiery impulses, which is kind of nice to see. He can tap that down. Alright, so we are up against Simic Control, obviously. I've seen this all. I've seen all this garbage before. Keep all my shit tapped forever. That seems premature. It's just a 1-1 that you know of so far, so I don't think... Unless he has more shit in hand, I, I think that was a misplay. Fiery Impulse on the 2-2 two -two seems okay. Kind of hoping for... I don't need another land. I have a land. So I can... Actually, yeah. I'll Artificer's Epiphany and then Fiery Impulse. That seems fantastic. Artificers... Nope, I can't do that. I have to play the land first. And then keep a red open. I can't believe I caught that, because I'm usually awful at keeping it, at picking those things up. Okay, that's actually really good. Um, that's, well, not really good. It's good. It's good. I enjoy it, but it's not, like, fantastic. He's got me kept down. He's only going to be able to hit me for three. I'm not too worried about a whole lot of this. He's got a man land. He's got the hexproof dude. Uh, the hexproof dude's kind of a problem for me. Yeah, I will be taking that out. I have some time to set up. Next turn, I'll have five lands. And I actually do have everything for Fiery Impulse, so I can take out that 3-3. Three, three. Not the Hexproof one, obviously. But the, th the other 3-3 three, three I can take care of. So... How do I want to do this? They both cost 3. They both pump my Thopter by 1. So I think more creatures is better. Otherwise, I could drop my... Hmm. Yeah, I actually, I kind of prefer that guy. And then... Swing in for just that dude. Start pinging him a little. Keep my fire impulse open for that uh, vanilla 3-3 he's got there. And then I guess I'll wait on the Sigil of Valor... Chandra is consistently looking like an awkward card in my hand. I don't know what to do with her. She's just so weird to be looking at, you know? It's like I don't have enough red here to really make the best use of her. This guy's got some really nice tempo going. He's got at least a turn of play so far. Like one and a half turns of play if you include that land last turn. Super good tempo. Doesn't have haste. Uh, it is something I have to deal with. Uh, I think I still want to take out that 3-3. Three, three. I think I still want that. Hmm. Kind of awkward. I'm, I don't want to block that. It's just, a, it's just a chump. I'll take the 3. He's got a lot of power in, in hand, which is kind of upsetting. Almost too upsetting, isn't it? <laughs> Ooh. That's nice to see. That's actually really great to see. Unfortunately, I can't play it. Oh, so awkward. So fucking awkward. So what do I do here? Do I just play it anyway? And then drop my Sigil of Valor, not swing in, keep a lot of damage on the board? I think that's what I do. I think I'm just going to tap out here. And put my Valor on the board, too. He's only got one card in hand, so I'm not, like... I, I feel like he's blown out most of the real scary things. Hopefully he has a dead card in hand. I don't think I swing in here. I want the blocks, because uh, I'm going to be making some really awkward trades. Like, I can do a Thopter and then my 1-3 uh, on his Hexproof dude. I can do... Guardian Tazim kind of sucks. Who does he get? Who does he get? Probably a Thopter, actually. Because 
Those are the guys who are the best blockers. Mm, see, I'm not going to block with that anyway. Who would I block with that? Like, nobody. I wouldn't block with that, so I don't feel like that's the best way to go. Yeah, I still have really awkward... Okay, hey, that's, that's fine by me. Um, we're going to be doing some trades here. Unfortunately, I'm losing, like, almost everything, but I'm okay with it. I'm okay with it. Yeah, I'm okay. Yeah, I think he should have blocked down an, um, a Thopter, because it would have been so much more awkward if he had, uh, if I only had, like, if, if I had to block with that, that Lord there, too. Okay, so that goes down. I could play this guy and have one mana up, which seems awful. <laughs> seems just awful. The other option, yeah, I'm definitely cracking this. Definitely cracking this. So what's he hitting me for? He's got four, five, six, seven damage on the board. No cards in hand. I could slam this down. I could have two. Uh, see, I don't have enough, like, cards. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm just going to play out my hand. Fuck the world. Now... His 3-3 uh, three, three is in one of the most awkward positions ever. I might as well just stick this on somebody. Just for the absolute hell of it. There's, like, really no reason not to. I have no cards in hand. He knows that. If I swung in with it, what would it do? Uh, one, two, three, four... It'd be useless. It, it, he, he would just bounce off the uh, Tazim, the Guardian of Tazim. So he's swinging in with the 4-5. Uh, nothing I can really do to stop that. He can't swing in with the 3-3. Three, three. He just can't. The 4-5 is obviously crashing in. There, I, I see no reason that that thing would be. Unless he really wants to block one of my, uh, my Thopters from getting in. Which would also be okay for me. It's totally up to him. Yeah, I, I figured. Does he have a pump or something? If he can do four damage, that'd be impressive. Telling time? Okay, so he's looking for a pump. He could have a lot of things. Wild size would suck for me. Uh, giant growth. I don't think there is giant growth in this format, but... Let's see what he's got. The top three cards of his library, he could have just picked one up. All right, is it just another creature then? No, it's nothing. I don't know what that was. Really weird. Uh, can't play that. I have to make sure that this cracks. I'll just do it now so, so I get uh, the extra damage. Uh. Okay. Because I got two three threes, which is super nice. Swing for that. Don't swing with my Chandra. Mm, don't know what he has. It's a 6 8. Don't know how he's going to deal with it. What? He's going to crack his man land, I guess? And then double block, maybe? Uh, that would be dumb. How much does this even turn into? Uh, 3 3 with hex proof. That doesn't really help him, because I'll just kill them both. I would just take it. I mean, you're at 23 and I'm at 4. Just screw it, you know? Unless he has something to really pump himself up with. If I were in his position, if I just had a random card in hand, I would just take this damage. That's just me. Because at most, it's going to be 7 damage when I crack my, uh, or when I, um, trigger my, my Chandra. What the hell just happened? Did it just freeze? What is this? What the hell is this? No, no, okay. He was choosing blockers. That's fine. Um, honestly, I would have just taken that damage. It's like, who cares? Really? That barely matters. 
Um, I'm going to leave that right on her. I could have moved it to a Thopter, but I feel like whichever Thopter I move it to, he's just going to kill with the Guardian Tazim. Because he has to crash in with a guard. Well, he doesn't have to crash in. He has to kill one of my Thopters. He can't, he can't attack at all. Because I would just double block. Okay, this is weird. He must have a trick or something. You know what? I bet he's got a disperse or something. Because there's no way he attacks like this. I mean, I have no choice. I have to block like this. Titanic growth. That sucks because he kills both of my dudes. Uh, it's not quite lethal. I'm at two, I think. No, I'm at four. Um, that's weird. I wonder if he had the ability to play that before. And he just fucked up. No, just go ahead. All right, now I, I crack my uh, Chandra. Do a damage to him because it's worth it. I need some Thopters now. I need some Thopters. That is not a Thopter. Shit. I think I just lost. So... Damn, man. Dead in the air. Oh, well. Dead in the air to a Guardian Tazim. Did I, did I misplay something? I mean, maybe... You know, the other option I could have done was just blocked with one Thopter. No, I couldn't have blocked with one Thopter. No, I could have, because then I'd be down to one instead of uh, four. So I would be alive. Not that it would have done me like, that much better. Seven, nine, shit, man. You might as well just let that in. Who cares? You're going to do it with a flyer, too? You know I have no flyers to, like, to block with. Like, what's the point of that? Oh, because he can draw a card off of it. That's why. That was obvious. All right, well, there's obviously nothing I can do about that, so I'm just going to concede that. Oh, damn. That hurts, man. That hurts. I feel... I feel like I gave that one away. I'm not sure exactly how I did that. Uh, really uncomfortable with these Planeswalkers. Seriously. They... I mean, maybe Jace is okay, but the Planeswalkers just really make me feel weird. And not in a good way. Uh, a couple of these wouldn't be the worst. Then I have 23 lands. I kind of like that. Okay, let's let's run this. Let's ship this out. Whoops. Okay. Let's give this a shot. Chandra just... I, I never really seem to have enough red, red spells in hand. Hey, we're up against the mirror. <laughs> this is not the mirror. But uh, it's cool. I like, I like seeing this guy. Mr. Biceps, Dark Soldier, sup, bruh? <sighs> All right, that's not keepable. Ugh. Uh, I have absolutely no plays, so I'll mulligan. Fine. What is with me in keeping Jace in like every goddamn hand I have? <laughs> like, like seriously, is Jace has Jace been in every one of my things, or uh, was I thinking of Chandra? Actually, I'm thinking of Chandra. Chandra was in the last one and the one before that. Uh, now that I got rid of Chandra, Jace is like, where's Chandra? Alright, fine. Yep, I'm playing, I'm playing, is it? Against, I guess, your, uh, mono black. I don't know. Not usually mono black. I don't feel like there's a lot of mono colors in this format. I think there's a lot of two, two colors and three colors. Uh, but if you are gonna go mono color, I guess mono black. Actually, mono red is probably the best way to go if you're gonna go a single color. Uh, also mono green because they have that uh, plus one plus one for every forest. So never mind. I'm full of shit. There are there are ways to to, to fit around this. Uh, he doesn't do anything, so I'm just gonna use his ability main phase. I don't need to do use his ability main phase. There's absolutely no reason to do that. Don't normally see alchemist vial in in mono black so that kind of i'm i'm really thinking that he's not mono black maybe he's uh demir colors i just missed a blue or something not sure we'll see of course it's three freaking swamps so hey and no plays interesting okay no plays at all Draw a card. Uh, I have my colors, so I'll just dump a land. Really no need for that. Uh, okay. <laughs> I mean, I might as well play that as well. Gonna drop another Thopter Engineer. And then swing in 4-3. Okay, I'm 
just gonna do this with the mouse. I'm sorry for the clicks, you guys. Confirm attacks. <laughs> it's just so much faster than clicking through every one of these damn things. Okay, okay. I don't know. You know what? This game is skipping second main a lot. That's really obnoxious. Uh, I do not like that at all. Titan of Erebus. That's an interesting card to have. Let's see if I draw a Disperse or something. I do not mind pitching Foundry of the Consoles, at least one of them. I kind of like having two of them, though. Uh, I'll probably dump that, though. Uh, you know what? Maybe I do need... Because if I like pick up another Kia, Pia and Karen, then I'll feel pretty bad. Wow! Flooding out, man! Holy crap! Wow! Okay. Okay. Just kind of hoping for something a little better than that. It's a little too much to ask, though. Um... I'm gonna drop my other island. And we're just gonna pass turn. Uh, next turn, I will totally be able to crack Jace uh, main phase. Oh, okay. Uh, probably Jace. Jace is probably gone. Yeah, of course. Well, let's just use him up anyway. Uh, I'm actually kind of happy with Jace. He did help me get through. Oh shit! And see, there's a fucking PN Karen. God damn it! I should have dumped this foundry, I guess. Ugh. It's so awkward to see, because I just threw away a mountain. Uh, Titan can get in once. I'm totally okay with that. I am totally okay with Titan getting in. Okay, that makes things a little better for me. Ooh. Okay. All right, we're just crashing in completely. Get in for the damage. It looks like I'm doing super aggro, so he could block a 1-3, which I'm happy to do. I want him to do <laughs> very much. Because I have another 1-3 right in play that I don't mind uh, getting rid of. Because uh, I... Uh, whatever. The, the ability stays on the board. Uh, looks like I'm going to 10. And then from now on, I'm going to have to hold something back to... Uh, to keep him in line. Really wish I didn't pitch that. I mean, it was either... God, this is such an awkward... Awkward toss. Yeah, then I would have pitched a... Uh, yeah, then I'd have two two mountains in play. And I could put down my PN Karen right now. I'd have no cards in hand, though. Which would be fine by me, honestly. I, I would have the exact same board state. Because instead of having that island, I would have had a, uh, a mountain... And I could have just pitched the island instead of the mountain and then kept the second foundry of the consoles. Ugh, awful. All right, the reason it took him a while there was because he was going through my graveyard to see if there was anything he wanted, but obviously not, because this is a much better play for him. He did get a nice two-for-one off of me. But I thought it was worth it because he's got nine damage on the field while I only have two. Man, I have been doing significantly worse this round since the last one. Uh, I know I made a couple misplays previously. I don't think I made anything wrong now. Def, okay. So I can't do that main phase then. Is that it? All right, I'll just do that now then. Jesus, what the hell? It just, like, skipped my main phase. I didn't click anything. Oh, that would have been nice to have. Well, what the fuck, man? Like, I don't even... Okay. Yeah, I would have liked to have Thopter's Spy Network, actually. The shit, man. Now I'm all tapped out. I could be grabbing another card. I would have dra I would have grabbed another Chief of the Foundry off of uh, Thopter Spy Network. I mean, I wouldn't have been able to play it. Going down to one here. Whatever. I'm, I'm completely confident that I just lost. Nope. I'm just dead. Never mind. All right. All righty. Well, guys, uh, let's see. I mean, I'm going to continue playing this, but... What can I do differently? What can I do differently? I don't... I'm actually gonna go down one here and then up one here because I have a little more red and I feel like red is more valuable. Actually, I guess not. Blue might be more valuable. What the hell am I doing? Yeah, blue is actually more valuable to me. I don't know what... what I don't I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know. I don't know. It's dead. Um... 
you know who's really weird? Vile Aggregate doesn't quite sync with anything, so I'm probably going to dump him uh, at least for a couple more of these. But then I have one more who I'd really like, a cheap creature. Uh, colorless is fine, but I need... I need, like, smaller critters. You know what? Uh, Fairy Miscreant is awful. Never mind. I was thinking about Popper, and it's really good in Popper, but I really don't want it here. <sighs> Brigade is awkward. Everybody's just awkward. Like, it's all just weird. Nothing really fits right. All right, how about how about, how about about two, two drops? Do we have any good two drops, you guys? Um... Prowess? That's not prowess. That's spirits. Screw spirits. Tide Drifter is so defensive. Like, I can make my Thopters resistant against. Uh... No, I don't want. I don't want defensive. I want like value creatures, creatures that come down that just do things for me. And I'm not a big fan. Like, actually, Eldrazi Sky Spawner isn't too bad here because then I get a 2-1 in the air it's not a thopter but I don't really care hmm do I want more control I don't f tapping and bouncing are kind of nice I don't know whatever I I'm, I'm gonna think about it a little more uh hit me up if you guys have any ideas for me and I will see you guys next time thank you very much